Super Bowls. Here's a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. now on first down and it's held in by Jared Cook and he'll be corralled right around the 34 right off the bat it's a first down to start the drive 12 yards you don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch but after that play he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear from the 34 now here's first and 10 The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And this is going to be incomplete. Incomplete on the throwaway. Brings up third down and six yards to go. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Shotgun now for Breeze. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people just like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Now this throw caught left side. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. He takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Kamara. The tackle made at the 12-yard line. It's a pickup of three. No score after one on EA Sports. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Gun. It's Breeze. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. Brings up third down and seven. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. There's Breeze. That's caught, it's Thomas. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. The completion good for only six and that'll bring up fourth. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. Here we go with Kamara. And barrel is right into the end zone. 
into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. From the gun, it's Brady. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 25 yards that time. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. down. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski. Complete. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady. And break, the tight end's got it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain there of 30 big ones. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. Into the red zone, it's Brady. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Two yards left on second down from the nine. Free to throw again. This will be caught at about the five. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Jones. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. To 
to throw is Brady. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven, third and goal. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. On fourth down, Ryan Suckup now for the Buccaneer field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? The, wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Brees now on first down. He gets it left side to Johnson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Looking deep downfield. And that's going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. We've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. This will make it into the end zone. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. The LSU man, Leonard Fournette, born right here in New Orleans. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Shotgun now for Brady. Airing this one out for Evans. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Malcolm Jenkins. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Intercepted. 
The Saints take over at first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara, he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. To throw, it's Breeze. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara. And that takes us from second to third down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Breeze going to throw. And the catch made, this is Emmanuel Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. On first down, Breeze toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas, and that'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Now, Breeze again. That'll be complete to Cook. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Throwing the out right and complete. It's Sanders. Two veterans breeze to Sanders there for a Saints first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Kamara there with a first down carry, but not much running room, and he takes it forward for only a couple. It's second down. And the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Breeze now to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. To throw is Breeze. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 17 there in a New Orleans first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Back to the ground. It's Kamara. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Kamara. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They run it again with Kamara. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. 
And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Back to throw, Breeze. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And Lutz puts this one through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet. Okay, being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here's Brady and the Bucks trailing 10 to 3. A minute 45 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he finds Gronk. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Clock running, the Bucks try to go quickly and get set. He's back to throw. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The running back Leonard Fournette, his intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Brady to throw. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. He's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. He's got it. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Let's 
The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. From midfield, here's Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one, got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Brady. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. And it's third and short. Third down. And three yards to go. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. To throw is Brady. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Second and 10 from the 25. One final try now for Brady. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. But Charles, a one-score game. Down to the end we win. They had one final play in that one-score game. <laughs> We all knew what was coming to Hail Mary. They just couldn't get it done. What exactly complicated was it? We all knew, as you said, and go long and see if we can find someone open. They didn't get it done. Someone's happy. Someone is not. <laughs>